Right. I always get this question. My Venus is in the sixth house or lording the sixth or aspected by the sixth lord or conjunct the sixth lord. Something to do with the sixth house. Or the Nakshatra Lord of Venus is lording the sixth house or conjunct the sixth lord. <laughs> Something to do with the 6th house. So, Venus and 6th house associations. Uh, does it mean that I will be divorced? Uh, well, the short answer is uh, yes and no. <laughs> or rather, I should say yes or no. Or maybe I can say yes and or yes. <laughs> See, uh, there was one person who asked me recently, who was going through so many of my Astrology Basics videos, he asked me that why do you why do you never give a clear cut direct answer? So, for example, Venus linked with the sixth house, will there be a divorce? Yes or no? Well, you have to understand why we cannot just say yes or no. Because one twelfth of the world population, if you take six, it's more than seven, but if you take six billion people, if you divide it by 12, it is half a billion. So half a billion people will have Venus sitting in the sixth. Forget about lording, sitting together, aspected by conjunct. And all. If you if you add all this, it will be almost 30% uh, of the world population. So around yeah, two, two and a half billion people. So now if those two, two and a half billion people, they get married, um, then the total is 5 billion. So then does it mean because if they are divor getting divorced, then the partner is also getting divorced, right? Or you assume half of them are marrying within each other. <laughs> the other half are marrying with uh, people who are who do not have Venus associated. Even then it is around 2 to 3 billion, which is again like 30-40% maybe of the world population. So or do you think that 30-40% uh, of the world population uh, will be divorced uh, if they have Venus in the, uh, in the sixth house? Okay, so that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. So we will discuss in which situations and circumstances that can lead to a divorce or will it lead to some separation or it will be just like a passing thing. Okay, now... Before I begin, you have to understand that 6th house is the uh, 12th to the 7th, uh, 7th house of marriage. And we know what is the 12th house, right? 12th house is the house of loss. So 6th house is the loss of marriage. Now, loss of marriage does not necessarily mean divorce. It can mean divorce at an extreme case. So let me tell you what the 6th house can do. So one thing is, the first thing is it can create external problems in the marriage okay so for example you 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 are in india you got a new job in uh, in the uk and for some reason your wife or your husband cannot go with you so that's like a physical separation but does it mean that uh, that is caused because of some marital discord well not necessarily so this is one thing this is a gross problem okay uh, situation one where you do not have any problems but due to some external reason now it does not mean that you will have to go to another country but if you don't then you lose that job opportunity right so some either either ways either in your married life or in your profession is it is creating some problems because it is also a dustana house do not forget that okay now you could say sixth house also shows jobs but even then it is a dustana house it will not be an easy way out. Uh, it will not be that easy compared to the 10th house or the 2nd or the 11th. Even if you get a job, uh, even if the 6th house gives you a job. So this means that if you if you are not in the first, first scenario, then there could be another scenario where uh, you are within the same country but your workload has increased. And because of your increased workload, you are not able to uh, give time and energy to your spouse. So this is situation number two. Now, situation one.
can it uh, lead to divorce well not inherently but there are chances you know you may go outside and then uh, you may get attracted to somebody else <laughs> or you may feel oh this is long distance it's not working so it is like it is not the best scenario for a married life right if you both are in two different countries now of course you can give a long speech on how long distance relationships uh, will always work why they don't work you can keep debating for hours but that's not uh, the topic the topic is what kind of problems can come okay so of course this also does not mean that if you are staying together there will be no extramarital affair or uh, there will be no problems in marriage okay but then the probability increases because you are away from each other and you can have some problems in connections okay in connecting to each other because of the physical distance that's a reality you know you cannot just dismiss it so scenario one that has the probability to create marital problems affairs and worst case divorce it has the possibility now scenario number two where you are in the same uh, same place okay but because of your workload you are working like 14 15 or even 18 hours a day and then you come home you are very tired and you just sleep so you are not able to uh, do justice to your spouse because of some uh, very stringent professional requirements and deadlines okay so this is this is also this is also a very problematic situation especially these days even if they are staying together but the work stress is so high that they are not able to um, yeah they are not able to stay together okay or they are not able to have a good time now number three number three scenario number three oh sorry number in number two can you get divorced or can there be extramarital affairs well certainly yes especially in 2023 <laughs> you are busy in the office and then your spouse is lonely and then he or she is uh, <clears throat> feeling the connection but not with you with somebody else okay there, there's like uh, morality commitment marriage and all this are uh, they're flying through the roof very fast <laughs> people even cannot tolerate sometimes you know few days or weeks even if it happens you know then they're like oh i'm i'm looking outside you know who wants to stay with you after all so second scenario is also dangerous okay. then scenario number three this is classic classic in the sense you are in the same city, no scenario one, no India, UK, no issues, no 18-hour job. Everything is fine in your life, but you don't like each other. This is like classic, okay? Can there be divorce or extramarital affair, marital problems? Well, anytime. <laughs> scenario three is like classic. So scenario four is you your spouse is having an extramarital affair and you find find out then can your marriage break well most likely it will or scenario five unfortunately due to some reason your spouse is no more they've left this world so these are primarily five scenarios which can turn out and every scenario has the potential to turn into a divorce or whatever. Or there's another scenario, scenario six, where you are not there anymore. So then for you, for your spouse, then the sixth house is active. Okay. But nonetheless, these are primarily the scenarios. They can, they can be thousand other scenarios. So these are primarily life situations and your horoscope will tell you among these scenarios what is going on. Okay, so for example, if you have prominent planner, if you have primarily, so what do I mean by primary? Primary means there are nine planets. Out of them, if you have like four, five or six planets that are associated with uh, the sixth house, which means, so for example, you know, like you have two planets in the sixth and the sixth lord is aspecting other two planets, you know, so you have four planets, okay. And uh, the sixth lord is in a prominent place, you know, like sixth lord is in Lagna, Lagnesh is in sixth, you know, all the typical astrological parameters where we check the severity. 
So if you have prominent planets then uh, connected to the sixth house, then you know that one of these scenarios can play out for sure. Now, if you have like three, four planets and along with that, added to that, you have Venus placed in the sixth house. I'm saying added to that, not just Venus. Okay. Then certainly it is marital discord which is like scenario three, where you may, may not have any problems, but external problems, but you have internal problems. You, you cannot tolerate each other. You are barking at each other always, right? <laughs> so then what happens? Because Venus actually controls, Venus is the Karaka for relationships. So he, Venus controls uh, your intimacy, you know, your emotional intimacy, intellectual intimacy, physical intimacy, proximity, sexual intimacy. What else? Did I miss something? <laughs> intimacy at the soul level, you know, whatever you can say, you know, soulmate, twin, twin flame or whatever, you know. So, if Venus has problems, then there could be issues there. But if you also have three, four other planets in the six, so then they will give you diseases, especially if Saturn or Mars is there. Then there will be court cases. There are things like, you know, your boss is howling, growling at you. You know, you are staying at the office. So all the problems combine and on cherry, off, cherry on top added to that, if you if your Venus is also bad, connected to the six, then it it is a big blow. So then the probability of divorce is very high. But there's still a catch. If you have three, four planets and Venus associated with the sixth house, but on the other side, the remaining three, four or five planets that you have. They are associated with the second house, seventh house, or eleventh house, which means you know you have uh, three planets situated in second, seventh, eleventh. Then what happens is, then there are external problems because of those three, four planets before, and because of Venus, there is also rifts. But because of uh, these planets, which are associated with the second, seventh, and eleventh. Then what happens is you will have problems out externally, job problem, disease, all this internal problems, but you will still somehow be mature enough to stay together because the second house is the family. Seventh house is your institution of marriage and 11th house is also, you know, family marriage and all these things like long-term associations are seen from the 11th house. So, then in this case, you will, it's like a tug of war. Three, four planets are indicating the sixth house and three, four planets are indicating the second, seventh, eleven. So now if you, if you have like three planets and Venus, so four on the negative side and the remaining five are on the positive side, then you know uh, that there will be a tug of war, there will be tusks and you may end up staying together. But sometimes what can happen is, you have three planets and Venus associated with the sixth house and among the other five, you have only one or two planets associated with the second, seventh and eleventh. So then, uh, then that's but natural that uh, it, it is a more problematic situation because now the, the weight of this negative combinations is more because four, four planets and only one or two are saying that you will maintain marriage. So then the probability of divorce also increases. Uh, but it will not be like, uh, okay, today you fight and tomorrow there is divorce because you still have one or two planets which are pushing you to stay married. Okay. So even then, that, then you know that they may uh, take some separation initially, then they may like uh, try to stay away from each other. And then they may come back or they may separate. Okay. So this is a situation where there is no immediate divorce, but gradually there could be divorce. Okay. Now, most important 
you may okay now you may think okay but how do i know what will happen when okay so now for this you need to check the dashas mahadasha primarily and antar dashas also so now if you take a 50 50 situation so let's say you have like you know three planets and venus which are indicating the sixth house so there are external problems there is disease court case and all this and uh, you also have problems with each other. But then there are remaining uh, four planets which are like saying, no, no, maintain your marriage. Now what happens? Your Mahadasha, Mahadasha is there. So let's assume you are married at the age of 25. So then what happens? Your Mahadasha has, let's assume, you know, the day you get married, a new Mahadasha starts. Okay, let's assume. Fancy stuff. <laughs> so now if this Mahadasha Lord is one of those four planets which are saying protect your family, then you will be like, okay, there are problems. I am busy. I have workload. I have to go to another country. I don't like her. I don't like him. This, that, that. But I'll still stay married. I'll still uh, keep the marriage. And then the next Mahadasha comes, which is uh, one of those planets connected to the six. Then there is severe problems because then, uh, you know, the wife may, you know, go back to the father's house or uh, the husband wife, you know, nowadays they may stay separate because the Mahadasha has changed. But because there are four planets which are saying don't break the marriage. So they will say, okay, we cannot tolerate each other and there are problems. So let us stay separate, but they will not initiate divorce and do all this. And then again, if a Mahadasha changes after 10 years or whatever, then they may again, if that is one of those planets connected to the 2nd, 7th or 11th, then again, the person may uh, get back to their spouse. Okay. So this is how you have to analyze if Venus in 6th will give you divorce. It's not just, you know, okay, Venus is in 6th, this will happen, that will happen. If that is how you analyze, it will lead to a disaster. It will be a catastrophe because you'll find so many people who have Venus in the 6th, you know, Venus lording the 6th, Venus aspected by the 6th, you know, planet, nakshatra, what not, right? Uh, like a thousand things with the 6th house. <clears throat> But you need to understand that this is how you have to analyze uh, astrological combinations. Otherwise, if you just take one thing and you drag from there, you, you drag it till eternity, okay? You, you make it absolute, then uh, we will become an absolute fool actually, okay? So please do not make a fool out of yourself and also out of others because your family members, friends, relatives, colleagues may ask you for some astrological advice. Okay, so please do a comprehensive analysis. Look at the majority of the planets and then only you can get an answer provided you have checked the Mahadasha and Antardasha. Okay, I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done, but that's what life is. Life is not easy. Life is very, very, very complicated. Okay. That will be all from my side, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, then please like and subscribe and share this video with somebody who is having Venus in the 6th or lording the 6th. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you, if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below. Thank you very much.